Hello everybody, in today's POW, I'm going to talk about how many rectangles of all sizes are there in this picture, in this diagram. So let's count it through and let's go, th let's go through it fairly quickly. I know that you did it th at the beginning of the year, but if you weren't here at the beginning of the year, this is your chance to find out how to do this. Okay, so rectangles, the first thing I have to remem remember um, to tell you is that rectangles um, can be long and thin. They can also look like a square because a square is a special type of rectangle. So don't forget those ones too. Now the very first thing you want to do when you're doing this type of thing is because you can just sort of, you'll start counting, well there's one and here's another one and you get all mixed up. So an easier way to do this is to label all the little regions, the spaces, and label them with letters. So let's label it with A, and then we'll go to B, and then C, and then D, and then E. Now, this allows us to name all of the rectangles with letters, and then we can count it up. Now this is kind of cool, and it's kind of fun. So let's first of all start with one letter rectangles. Are there any in here? Can you see any one letter rectangles? Okay, let's see if you've got them then. So, very first one, A, is that a one letter rectangle? No, because look, it's going one, two, three, four, five, six. Six different sides to it, and a rectangle only has four. So, A is not, it's kind of a strange shape. B, is it a rectangle? One, two, three, four. Yes, it is. So, B is a rectangle, so we put a B down there. Uh, uh, on under or beside one letter. So we've got B and I'll put a comma. Is C a rectangle? Well no because it comes in like this and it's not just four sides. It's kind of a strange shape. So C is not. D, oh one, one two, three, four. It has four sides so I'm going to put a D. And how about E? One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. All right so there's a total of two for that one. Now, you want to go and do two letter rectangles. So let's try the two letter. You've got one, A and B. We can start with A and we'll go to B. So is that uh, a two letter? Well, if you think about shading that whole thing in A, B together, you would have this on the outside and that's one, two, three, four. So you've got A, B. Now, are there any other letters that can join with A to make a rectangle? No, because you have to skip over the B here. So you can't do A, C, that doesn't make sense. So now you go to the next letter in the alphabet, which is B, and you try to join that up with another letter to make a two letter uh, rectangle. You've already got the A, B, so let's do B, C. Now, if you did B, C, is that a rectangle? Well, let's count the number of sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, it is not a rectangle. So BC is not a rectangle. So we finished with a B, now you go to the C. And you are, you've already done BC, so now you go CD. Well, is CD a two-letter rectangle? You have to figure that one out and, um, and then see if there's any other two-letter rectangles. I'm not going to do all of this for you, but I want you to, just wanted you to see that and what to do. And you'd write the total number down here, and then you find out if there's any three-letter rectangles, and you write the name here, the letters, which is the name of that three-letter rectangle, and then you put the total there. Once you've got that, then what you can do is you can add up all of those and you get a grand total. And that's how you do this. And that's the one that you're going to be doing in class. And also, um, there's a different one for homework, which is kind of fun too. I like these. I hope you do too. Thank you.